Okay, this is going to be my Adobe Encore DVD instruction video tutorial. Um, I'm going to start with a new project and I'm going to name it uh, Boy Howdy. First thing we want to do is grab the actual video file, which is obviously Sopranos 2. And then wait for that to import as an asset. Um, Okay, now that Sopranos 2 has been imported, uh, what we want to do is uh, we need to create a new timeline. So if we put this in a new timeline, bingo, and we can scrub forward on the episode, which is the newest episode of uh, Sopranos. So if, if you haven't seen it, don't, don't watch this because and you can play it in real time. Did you see Dr. Vogel today? For you. Okay. Then uh, what we want to do is we need to make a menu, um, something for your, uh, something for them to click on. And what I've done is um, I've made this menu in uh, Adobe Photoshop. Um, you can do pretty much anything you want as long as you bring it in with layers. Uh, well, actually, if you want to save it with the layers intact. Um, so therefore, the, the background and the gun are two separate layers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to hit Control B. I'm going to turn it into a button. So now uh, people can uh, click on the gun and that will start the episode of Sopranos. Now over here, I'm going to kill that bird. Not really. I say that all the time and it's still alive. Um, create a subtext picture. What that's going to do is when you click it, it's going to change colors or when you highlight it. If you have multiple menu options, like if I were to put uh, more text in over here, when you hit your arrow key to go off the gun and onto the text, the auto the uh, text sub picture, what it's going to do is it's going to highlight in a separate color so you know what you're accessing and what you're on. So that's going to actually come together in a, in a short uh, orange highlight. Um, let's see if I can find Ah, edit menu color set. Okay, so it's going to go from this state when you select it to this state to an active. Okay, so when you hi highlight it, it's going to turn orangey, and when you actually select it, it's going to turn red. Um, and this is highlight group one. So that's if you go to menu default, you'll see that, because that's what I've got. I think I have them set on. I have to go back and check. But um, color set, menu default, and automatic. This is the automatic set. If you put it on menu default, you can alter the colors of active and uh, selected state. Now, if you click on the actual menu menu, you're going to see right here, you can change your color sets from automatic to menu default. I have mine on menu default automatically. Um, aspect ratio, um, operations. You can set what operations. You can do custom operations doesn't really matter automatically root buttons I have no clue what that does um, default button setting is going to be is uh, is default one um, its end action actually we're going to uh, drag that over so that it'll loop continuously okay so this is our menu basically uh, what we want what we've got now is the the gun the timeline and the sopranos MPEG now what I have is I have an opener one that uh, a video that I made it's just a quick collage <clears throat> that I'm gonna have to open so I'm gonna make it into a new timeline and <coughs> and it plays through so that's how it's gonna open just short clips from the show that was on that night. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the SOP open and we're going to check it off as set as first play. So now when the DVD starts, if we go to if we hit uh, sh uh, Control Alt and the space bar, it's going to preview for us. So that's what would happen if you put the DVD in. That, that's the first thing that's going to play. So now what we need to do is we need to associate everything with an end action. Everything has to have an end action. So when something gets over with, it needs to know what to do. Now if you check over in the properties, it says end action, not set. So what we want to do is we want to connect that to gun. Because we want it to be, we want it to go from the open right into the menu. Okay. The gun's end action is to go back to gun. So that way it's automatically going to be uh, revolving. 
So if somebody leaves a DVD player with this on, it's not going to shut the DVD off. If you leave it on stop, it will stop. Come to a complete stop, they'll have to pull the disc out, put the disc back in in order to play it. So it's, it's a good thing to loop, no matter how long your uh, menu opening is. Okay, so we go back up here. We switch from monitor to the to the title. Now we highlight the gun. Now what we want to do is uncheck this, okay? Because that is a text letter, and if you have any text in here, and I were to uh, I were to take this link and drag it over here, it would automatically change the lettering in your text to SOP open. We don't want to do that. So if you've got your menu set and you've created your menu in here then you definitely want to uncheck that. So we want to connect the link. When they press the gun, we want it to start Sopranos 2. Now, if you were going to put your own texting, you just click the text tool and make your own boxes, and you can alter your letters, and etc., etc. You can tinker with that all you want. I'm just showing you the basics here. There's also what are called transitions. I've created one transition. Let me see. Open up. Open up transition. I've created a transition in here already. Okay, so we don't need to make a timeline for this because it's just a transition. So now if we click the button, click the transition up here, its asset's going to be transition. Just because I named it that way is making it a little more difficult to understand, but you got it. Okay, now if we do control alt space bar, we're going to get our preview again. I don't even know if you can see this or not. I'm hoping you can. Um, this button down here does execute end action, so whatever you designated as your end action, that's what's going to make it do. This is also a menu remote button. So now if we click the gun, it's going to swap away and transition video is going to start. And that's going to dump into whatever the end action was for that button. Then it goes right in. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to designate the end action for Sopranos 2 for our movie and our menu remote button. If somebody touches the menu button while in the show, you want it to go back to that. You want it to go back to the gun. And now if we take a look at our flow chart, we got our DVD project, which is going to start with uh, the Sopranos opening, which then dumps into the gun. Now it rotates back to itself if nothing happens. If someone touches the gun, it's going to go to it's going to go to Sopranos 2 via the uh, transition video, and then if Sopranos 2 runs down, it's going to go back to the gun. Very simple flow chart they put in here for you. It's very nice, very handy. Okay. Alright, now what we want to do is we want to go down, hit the file button, go down to check project. This is going to check project for any problems in these areas. And we have no problems, which is good. That's always a nice thing to say that there's no problems. So, one more thing I want to do though, is I want to uh, introduce some music into Sopranos MP3 I'm importing. Uh, what I want to do is introduce some music into the menu. So just drag and drop into the menu. And now if we do the preview, we go execute end action, the music starts during the, in the menu. And then it's just basically build a DVD. What I do is I don't burn directly to the DVD. I make a DVD folder on my hard drive. Um, and then I copy um, via uh, InterVideo or Nero or what, what have you, Roxio. Um, what you do is you take the disk name and you change it to uh, Sopranos 2. And then uh, you could put it in e location E Boy Howdy. Um, it's going to automatically do that. Or if you have a folder waiting for it, you can hit just hit Browse and it'll it'll go in there and just hit Build, and it will build you a DVD folder with the Video TS and the Audio TS folders. Um, I know I skipped over this kind of quick, but um, time constraints. I'm only allowed 10 minutes, so uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to chalk them up, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Peace.